All right, so I gave Fashion Nova another chance and we'll have to see how it goes. <laughs> What is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some goodies that I got from Fashion Nova. Yes, girl! Fashion Nova, you've heard it everywhere. There is no escaping the advertisements of Fashion Nova. But I will go ahead and say this, this video is not sponsored. I went ahead and spent my own hardworking money on these items here. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I haven't ordered anything from them in roughly over a year. One thing I like when I go on their website is the fact that it shows my order history and shamefully I've spent way too much money on Fashion Nova considering the quality that I've experienced throughout the years. Um, I hate to say it, but it's fast fashion. It's not gonna last you that long. The quality is not going to be lasting you years, Hunty. Um, which is also the sad thing. However, some of the things from today's haul, I was honestly pleasantly surprised by how nice they actually felt. I haven't ordered anything from them literally since like last summer, so it's been a whole full year of me not buying anything and not trying to do all that, hunty. <laughs> but the things that I got in today's haul, I was definitely pretty taken back by how nice they have kind of upgraded since the last time I've parted ways with them. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, the very first outfit I got was the sassy snake print two-piece. This is what the top looks like. It's got like an over the neck crisscross kind of strap and it has this really nice pattern to it. Now the actual material is very, very, very soft. I was pretty surprised. I was also very grateful that it was this type of material because it's not a t-shirt material where as you're wearing it throughout the day, it's gonna be stretching out. Definitely hug my body in the right places. The only thing is, is with us bigger booby girls, um, crop tops can be a hit or miss and I was a little bit worried about it because with Fashion Nova and their models they're a little bit smaller chested even though you know it's fake boobies but um they're smaller fake boobies so every time I see a crop top on there it looks like it goes like to the middle of the rib cage but you know me that's not gonna work so so the amount of material here it was reasonable but depending on how wide your strapless bra band is it may end up sticking out so just be cautious of that as for the little straps everything felt secure they weren't extremely long where everything's all out and stuff so yeah overall I was pretty happy I felt like that bitch in this outfit okay like for real okay so this next outfit i'm gonna be showing you is this miss og romper it's a one piece um with like biker shorts at the bottom and a one sleeve off the shoulder type moment why do i look like kim possible right now like i feel <laughs> like this is like a badass like crime fighting type of thing, you know? And let me just say, I had this in my wish list for about a month and a half because I was waiting for the dang thing to be back in stock. And so when it was, I finally ordered it. But anyway, this is one item that I was super excited for because I hadn't seen it before. And I just thought that the way that it looked on the model looked really, really flattering. Um, but when I got it in the mail and I opened it, I was a little taken back and I thought they sent me the wrong thing because where it says original, it's like this bright neon green and I swear on the picture from the stock image on Fashion Nova, like, I swear it was a white font. Like, I do not remember this neon green at all. Um, but I went back on there and it looks like 
the um, average size model, it looks like hers was white font and then the plus size model had neon green. So I don't know, I don't know if it was just a color correction thing and hopefully you guys can see this but it is neon green for the font. But overall, the way it fit, the way it hugged my body, I felt like it looked really, really nice. Also, one thing I do want to mention is the material that it's made out of is really stretchy and nice. However, you could probably see it in the footage, um, the amount of spandex that's in it. When it was stretching out around my body, you could totally just like see it. It just looked shiny. But it wasn't that big of a deal at all. Honestly, I feel like it was just because I have all these lights up in here. But um, yeah, overall, I'm definitely going to be wearing this. Definitely would rate this a 9 out of 10. <laughs> okay, so this next outfit I'm going to show you, I also had on my wish list literally for like over a month. Um, and once it was back in stock, first of all, I put email notifications to tell me when the items were going to be back in stock. It never happened. I just logged back on one day and it was back in stock. So, but this is the OK Honey skirt set. It has a one sleeve off the shoulder moment just like the OG romper does. Overall, I feel like it fit really nice. This waistband, I like how thick they made it. It looks really flattering. You're not getting like a muffin top or anything while you're wearing it, which is really good. Typically, if the little waistbands are the small skinny ones, it's a no-go for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, it fit really nice. The material on this set is a t-shirt type of material, so keep that in mind. I believe it's 100% cotton. Let me just check really quick. 95% cotton and 5% spandex. So yeah, overall, I really love this look. This one gets a 10 out of 10 for me. Definitely feeling myself in this one. <laughs> All right, so this next item I'm gonna show you is the Nastasia neon green <laughs> um, top, and I think it looks hella bomb. Definitely super cute for casual days. It is a mesh material, so it's pretty breathable. Very lightweight, very stretchy. Um, honestly, I feel like this is a perfect vibe for summer, even if you're like going to the pool or whatever it may be. Uh, obviously, you know, social distancing is still a thing. So I will be making little videos in my apartment wearing this. <laughs> no, but honestly, this is super cute. The ruffle detailings are one of the things about it that I'm living for. I just think it adds a little bit of flavor rather than just a typical, you know, t-shirt with snakeskin on it. So um, yeah, this one is super cute. I don't have any complaints about it at all. And I would say this one right here is a 10 out of 10. All right, so this next item right here is the Sweet Fantasy Silk Slip Dress. I am digging this cotton candy um, tie-dye type of pattern. I think it looks so cute. So different than like some other type of items I've been seeing recently. Um, I thought it was adorable. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen this dress before. This is the dress that I wore in my 10K photo shoot. So if you are wondering where I got that dress, it is from Fashion Nova. But one thing I do want to mention is the fact that the back is open with this nice wide band. I think it looks super cute, very flattering. If my strapless bra would have been a three hook band instead of a five, you wouldn't have been able to see it with this little hidden thing. However, um, it is a five hook band, but you'll see a little bit of the um, bra through the back. But if your boobies are smaller than me and you don't even need to wear a strapless bra, then it's not a problem. It still looks very flattering. You don't even gotta worry. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. It has like this nice little um, cow kind of neck. I don't even know if that's the right word, but um, the straps are adjustable. Let me go ahead and mention that. It's probably hard for you guys to see, but the straps are adjustable. So that's another plus as well. 
Oh, and then the final thing I want to mention about this dress that I didn't even notice until I had it on was the fact that it has a zipper down the side. So, um, if you got, you know, that big booty Judy in the back and it's hard for you to get the dress on, go ahead and just unzip it and there you go. Okay, so this next item, I was really, really sad that it didn't work out because... I really wanted this one to work. I had a vision for it. I even was going to wear it for the 10k um, For the 10k subscribers photo shoot. I was like living. I loved the way the picture looked and everything um, But this is what it looks like. It is the conflicted off-shoulder corset. It has these nice little tool sleeves I will pop a picture of what it looks like on the model cuz it didn't work out for me There is literally no way that this is an extra large. I think this is the most expensive one and it's... I'm so pissed. I'm pissed. This was the one I wanted to work. So shitty. Man. Honestly, honestly, I'm so disappointed. Um, but it has a zipper in the back as well. My only con about this, and I have to rate it literally like a freaking zero because I couldn't even put it on. But if I had to rate it just based on the design and how it looks, I would rate it, you know, a freaking eight because I freaking loved it. But um, functionality and actually wearing this thing, yeah, it was um, it was definitely a no. Um, the this is the only part of it that stretches. This is like this, what, six inches right there? Um, <laughs> that's the only part. So, I mean, I get it. I know it's a corset top. Don't rip me to shreds in the comments. I know it's a corset. Um, however, I've had corsets in the same size fit. So I don't know. I don't know. So definitely, whatever size you are, if you really do want this uh, corset size up, I honestly, if you, I mean, if you have big boobs like me, size up at least two to three times. Cause there's no way. There's no way. I was, there's no way. Okay, so this next one, I saw it and I was like, honey, I'm living, I'm living for all of this, like super cute, super sexy. It's the Raylene Mesh Romper. It's kind of hard to see as I'm holding it, but it is completely see-through. <laughs> Just letting you know, it has this nice cheetah print type of pattern to it. And the way the neck is, it's like a square type of neck. Honestly, I tried it on the normal way as well as off the shoulder. Each one looked nice. Uh, just make sure you have like really cute undergarments for underneath this because they will be showing. Um, but I thought this was a total vibe. I was living for it. If this virus wasn't out, would I be going to the club in this? Yes. But it is, and I'm just gonna be probably sitting at home, doing an at-home photo shoot or something like that in it. However, I definitely wish it kind of hugged my waist a little bit more. Um, I know it's mesh material, but it's not like a really conforming, like body-hugging type of mesh. It's a rough type of mesh. It's not that soft. I don't know how to describe it for you guys. With that being said and everything else, I would definitely rate this a 9.5 for sure. So the last item I want to show you guys are a pair of shoes that I got. Now for the like five or six times I've ordered from Fashion Nova, I've yet to purchase shoes from them. So I figured why not? Um, I had originally gotten these for a separate photo shoot, but it didn't end up working out. But 
These are what they look like. I can't remember right now off the top of my head what they're called, but as you can see, they've only been worn in the house, literally. Um, the band right here is a little loose, so if you have petite feet, not that I meant to rhyme that, but if you have uh, smaller feet, they're not as wide, it may kind of be hard to walk in these. For instance, I have a little bit of trouble, not with the size um, of the platform or anything, but it's literally just because it's not that secure around my foot. It's pretty big. However, I think that these are super effing cute. These are also the shoes that I wore in the 10K giveaway photo shoot as well. Also, I do want to mention they did come in half sizes. These are my size, they're seven and a half. So I was really grateful about that. But as for the overall quality of their shoes, just based on these, I would have to give these honestly a six. The aesthetic and how they look, definitely a 10, but for functionality and like durability of the shoe, they haven't even been worn outside yet and um, I can already feel when I walk, sometimes the heel, it might break down the road. <laughs> So yeah, that is everything that I went ahead and got from Fashion Nova. Shout out to Kimberly for requesting that I do a Fashion Nova haul. You know I got you, girl. I tried to pick some really cute stuff so you can see. Um, there was some interesting things on the website as well, but like I said, they were out of stock. Um, but overall, I feel like this is the best experience I've had from Fashion Nova. Like I said, I haven't purchased anything in over a year, so from what I can tell, they gotten a little bit better from what they used to be. Trust me on that. So <laughs> anyways, that is it for this video, guys. Before I end it, if you've been wondering where I got my hair or what kind of unit this is, I will go ahead and leave it linked up above if you're on mobile. If not, just check the description box. Go ahead and leave the video for this unit as well. But anyways, that is it for today's video, guys. I'm so glad you stopped by. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.